After that successful dish that we made at the weekend of Panna of Fruta de Moa, I thought we'd continue with the seafood theme and I'll show you how I make Panna of Samoana. Using Panna because I've got lots of it, but you don't have to use Panna. Take the telly is also very good with this, with this dish. It's super simple, simple ingredients, and it's very, very easy to make. Otherwise, I wouldn't be making it, would I? Okay, all you need for this is half an onion or a small onion or a shallot, some cream, fresh parsley, and of course, smoked salmon. Obviously, the better the smoked salmon, the stronger the flavour, the stronger the smoked salmon, the better it is. So, uh, uh, try and get a good one. But to be honest, the stuff I get from Aldi or, 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 or from Lidl is not bad, and it's only about £3 a pack. Don't go down to Waitrose, they pay about £7 for exactly the same amount of salmon. Alright, and as you see, I've put a couple of red peppers there. As you know, I like to spice things up a little bit, that's optional. And at the end of this dish, I'll show you also something to make it look that little bit special, you know, the woe wo factor. But anyway, first thing we're going to do is put the pasta into the water, which is boiling away behind us. Remember, lots of water, and don't forget to put salt in the water. So I'm going to put the pasta in there, and then we'll come back to preparing the sauce. Well, here we are, the water's boiling away there. All we're going to do is as I say, it's, it's just for one person really, so I'm putting in just two, two big handfuls, which is, which is about 80 grams, which is enough for one person. Give it a stir. Remember, don't put oil in my pasta. People say you should put oil in to stop it sticking, and I'll keep saying that's for lazy people. You can always stir it. Anyway, let's get back to making the sauce. Right, the pasta takes, well that particular pasta takes 10 minutes, the cooking time is 11 minutes, I like to have it al dente so I'm going to do it 10 minutes, okay, which reminds me, Alexa, alarm, 10 minutes, so that's it, we've got the alarm on for that, and all we need now, whilst we're waiting, we're going to chop up the onions, now the onions have to be really, really fine, because you don't want thick onions, it's a delicate dish, so, Get the onions chopped up really nice and fine. Because we want little bits, I want big chunky onions. There we go, that should be nice and fine to go in. Normally you'd leave them a bit chunky, but in this case, because we're doing the salmon. Now, as I said, I like to spice it up a little bit. So I'm going to put a few peppers in there. One is enough, but I do like to have it a bit of a kick. As I say, that's optional. You don't have to put peppers in. And of course, afterwards, we're gonna use a bit of fresh parsley. As I said in my last vlog, this is something that you should always have in the fridge. You can buy packets of the stuff from Aldi or, or Lidl, 70 pence. I actually got mine from Car Walk today, and that was 75%. And you can actually put that in the freezer if you want, but you should always have that in, in, in the fridge. Okay, the only thing that remains left now is to open the salmon. Get that ready. There we go. Nice bit of salmon. So, that's the ingredients. As quick as that. Right, let's get started with the sauce. Now the sauce only takes a few minutes, so you've got to be careful. Keep the pasta quick stir while we're waiting. Get a bit of heat on the pan. Obviously, a little bit of olive oil. Use the good stuff, remember. Don't use the cheap olive oil. A couple of spoonfuls, that's all you need in there. Let that heat up just a minute. I've got it on a high flame. Once that's got hot, we we'll turn it down to a, a medium flame because we don't want to burn the onions. And over we come. In with the onions, in with the peppers. And what we're going to do, we're just going to heat them up.
change the marble of magic. We're going to put in oh, salmon. Bits of salmon. Break it up. Good sized portions. Remember, there's only for one person, so I'm not going to put the whole packet in. If it was for four people, the whole packet of their four or five hundred grams would be enough. There we go. Okay, that should be enough for one person, which is me, of course. We put that salmon in there, like that. And we just leave that. Just to warm up. Don't want it too hot. Turn it down a little bit more on the flame. There we go. Right, now you mix that up, and all you do is just mix it until the salmon just starts to change colour. That's all you got to do. It just has to change colour slightly, which is done right now. This, this happens all very, very quickly, doesn't it? So, now I'm going to do something that you don't have to do. At this point, I like to add a little bit of brandy. That is optional. That is optional. It works very well with a the brandy, but it just adds a texture and a flavour to oil. You can smell that already. As I say, if you haven't got brandy, don't worry, you don't have to. Right, that's in. That little bit is evaporated away. It's need time to put in the cream. <laughs> Excuse me. At this point, turn the flame right down to low. You want very little heat. And then half of that, because this is only for one person. If it was four people, you'd put the whole, whole container in. Now, there, it's in with the cream, and you've just got to let that mix and slowly fuse together. If it starts to get too thick, or it starts to evaporate away, you can always put some water from the pasta in there. Now we're just going to let that heat gently like that. We, can even, we could even switch the heat off and wait for the pasta to finish, in actual fact. So just leave that in there, like that. There you go. Oh, it's looking nice already there. Okay. Right, the pasta has finished. The pasta has finished, there it goes. Now, what I'm gonna do now is just take a little bit of the water, just a little bit of the water from the pasta and add it to the dish. Okay, just the, just the one spoonful, because I'm cooking just for one person. If there was more, you would put two or three spoonfuls of, of the pasta water in there. Anyway, let's go drain the pasta and get the pasta into the plate. That's it, pasta drained. We put that in with the sauce. So remember, always the pasta goes in the sauce and not the sauce into the pasta. And there we have it. Now, at this point, we're going to add a bit of heat. So there we are. I'm going to add a bit of heat to that. Mix it up. We're just going to get the cream and the, and the salmon to fuse together with, with the pasta and whilst that's heating up now is the time to add a little bit of pepper. I think I said it in the last video I don't like these pepper things you buy from the supermarkets now because after about three twists they get stuck and you end up with the pepper inside but nothing coming out. Right, now it's just bubbling away though. Just evaporating a little bit. Just to thicken the sauce up just a little bit. And we're almost done. There, there you are. Okay, we're done. Let's we'll switch that off. And it's time to plate up. There you are, time to plate up. There we have our lovely pasta and salmon. We'll put that in the bowl. I said for one person, this is really for two, isn't it? Just look at it. A little bit of sauce there. Get a bit, a bit more of the salmon and the sauce. Now there you are. Now you would think that was finished. 
and like I said, I'll add a little bit of surprise what you can do at the end to make that a super plate of pasta is first of all put a little bit of parsley over it that's the idea of the fresh parsley that gives it that fresh look okay and then when you're in Aldi or Tesco's lump fish I don't know if that focuses in lump fish caviar look at that it's very cheap it's a couple of pounds that actually There we go. There we go. And we just put a spoonful of that in the middle on the top. Now, tell me, is that not a nice plate of pasta? Anyway, guys, that's it for today. Uh, uh, I hope you enjoyed that. This weekend we're going to be doing mussels and uh, fish in aquapazzo. Okay, so uh, come along for that one. It's also very simple. As I say, anything I cook, if I can cook it, you can cook it. It's really that simple. Once again, don't forget to like, subscribe, notifications and all that stuff. And uh, that's it. Take care and stay safe.